Welcome to Reality is Undefeated. I'm Anthony Gatewood. Thank you for tuning in. Today's episode is going to be extremely personal, okay? There's a lot of people that are close to me. They're going to be very hurt by a lot of the things that are said in this episode. So let me start off by sincerely saying that I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't give a fuck. Your kids don't owe you shit, okay? They didn't ask to be here. They didn't manifest themselves. This ain't no Virgin Mary shit. You know, this ain't no field of dreams. If you build it, he will come type shit. That was you being irresponsible, both in the moment and in life. That's all you. I'm sick and tired of hearing how kids don't appreciate shit. Or they're ungrateful. They're not thankful for shit. They don't deserve shit. I'm sick and tired of hearing the, we going in this store, don't ask for shit, don't touch shit, don't look at shit, because you ain't getting shit. I'm sick and tired of hearing the fucking, you know, I brought you into this life, I'll take you out of it. I'm sick and tired of hearing adults telling children that they should be thankful for the bullshit life they was brought into. A lot of you motherfuckers don't even like your own life, yet you bring children into the motherfucker. A lot of you can't even be yourself. You on the gram right now fronting like your life different than what the fuck it is. Yet you bring children into the same fucking life that your ass is fronting your way out of. You know what they'd appreciate? They'd appreciate if you didn't let your they bum ass daddy nothing. you. That's what the fuck they'd appreciate. They'd appreciate it if they bum ass daddy ain't fond attraction to your bum ass. That's what the fuck they'd appreciate. That's what the fuck they'd appreciate. They'd appreciate if they was brought into this world to parents that actually love them. They'd appreciate being able to be kids because they deserve to be kids. They deserve to get the fuck up in the morning, eat fucking cereal, go turn on fucking cartoons or Power Rangers or whatever the fuck. They deserve to play with action figures or Barbie dolls. They deserve to go to the park, go down the goddamn slide, swing on the swings, jump on the merry-go-round. They deserve to be free. Careless, experience, explore, discover. They deserve that. They don't deserve to go through the amount of psychological damage that they're going through as children. Being told they not shit. Being told they ain't going to be shit. Being told they're not wanted. They don't deserve that shit. They're not supposed to appreciate that. Be thankful. Be grateful for that shit. They're not supposed to. They'd appreciate it if they didn't have to deal with adult responsibilities until they were adults. They'd appreciate it if their future wasn't jeopardized, if it wasn't put up as collateral so that you can get through a temporary situation. They'd appreciate it if they could call their parent for advice instead of their parent calling them for advice. They'd appreciate it if they weren't shamed or cut off or told they weren't going to be shit simply because they made a decision that you didn't agree with. They'd appreciate it if they could be the child in the child-parent relationship. We're creating broken individuals. Individuals that are broken that we're just sending off into the world and telling them to figure it out. They can't figure out the world because they don't know themselves yet. They don't know themselves because of all of the situations they went through as kids where they weren't allowed to be kids. We have adults that are destined for struggle. Many of the struggles that generations in their family before them have gone through and your child should never go through the same struggle as you. You and your child may go through the same situation, but your child should not struggle through it if you struggle through it. Because they should have you to lean on for guidance and advice through the situation to where they don't struggle. If you are a teen mom and you struggled as a teen mom trying to find your way into the world and you didn't have anyone, it's no reason why your daughter should go through the same thing if she were to become a teen mom. They should have you. They should have your experience, and your experience lasts a lifetime. 
however many years older than your child you are, that's how many more years of experience you have at all times. Meaning that when your child turns 21, if you had that child at 21, you're now 42, you should be able to tell that child what they could expect through life and what to watch out for at the age of 21, all the way until they're 42 and so on and so forth. That experience doesn't go anywhere. Being a parent lasts a lifetime. There is no expiration date on it. It ends at death, yours or your child's. That's when you get to stop being a parent. Until then, you should always be warning them, guiding them through the next step of life. It doesn't end because they turned 18. The problem in the black community isn't broken homes. There can be homes with both parents that still fail to be parents. Parents failing to be parents is the reason why the community is failing today. Doesn't matter how many parents is in the household if you don't wanna be parents. And I'll tell you what brought this out of me today. I'm approaching 37 years old. And I realize now that I'm around the age that a lot of the adults in my life were when I was coming into adulthood. So having lived this long and going through parenthood and the challenges that it throws at you, I realized that a lot of the shit that we went through was bullshit. We didn't have motherfuckers guiding us. We had motherfuckers taking advantage of us. We had bills in our names and motherfuckers doing all kind of shit with our socials. We couldn't go outside after school or go to the after school activity because we was being looked at as childcare, taking care of our younger siblings. Either that or being pushed into the workforce so that we could help with the household bills. We have been invited into our teenage girlfriend's rooms, homes, so that it's another fucking income in the house. Being invited into struggle. We have motherfuckers who could have taught us home ownership, how important it was, how to obtain it, at a time where buying a home would have been easiest for us. Instead, they decided to buy a second home and rent it out to us. We have motherfuckers who could go to the goddamn car dealership with no money, just sign their name, drive off in that year's model of anything, who didn't tell us shit about credit. We lack so much information going out into this world, and it's bullshit. And I understand as an adult, you find yourself in certain situations that are unfavorable for you, but there is nothing that I've gone through as an adult. The many struggles that I've gone through, there is nothing that will make me jeopardize my child's future. We got to be held accountable for this shit. We have to break this cycle right now. Somewhere right now, there's a kid about to be drafted or about to have an album that drops. And there's a, an adult standing over them, waiting in line to be taken care of. You're going to take care of your mama, right? You're going to buy your auntie this car? Nephew, look out for your unk. About to be reminded of everything that has been done for them in their lives. Since they was yay high. So that this adult can guilt trip them. And to saying, you know what, you're right. Let me get that for you. I don't understand why in our community we, we look at our adults as superheroes because they made something out of nothing. We never questioned why they had nothing in the first place. Struggle is not a requirement of life. It is entirely possible for you to be born into a life of adequacy, not abundance, just adequacy. I don't have to be reminded every fucking day that it's a roof over my head and food in my mouth as if that's just not something that adults do for themselves, like they did it for me. It's bullshit. But I'll tell you one thing, it won't be mine. Oh no, it won't be mine. My kids are going to have every bit of information they need to be successful in life. 
They're going to know that they have a support system behind them. And more than anything, they're going to know that they always have a home to come to. No matter how many times you bumped your head or stumbled, you're welcome home. And I'm not going to say no names or relationships or anything like that. This video is just so motherfuckers know that I know. It's really that simple. That being said, man, this episode's lyrics come from Lauren Hill the Great. That thing. How you gonna win if you ain't right within? This will explain a lot of the struggles that, that adults in our lives are going through now. Because they're not right within. Anyway, y'all know what to do, man. Like, subscribe, follow the channel on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, ant underscore north underscore town. And tune into the next episode.